You are listening to the MJH Experience on Blog Talk Radio. Produced by CommunicationCreations.com. So, you know, it's like I'm trying to tell people that it's not all Muslims. It's just these radical people. And, you know, that's that's what I understood. But then everybody's telling me there is no difference because, you know, and, and you mentioned jihad. And yeah. is, okay, just clarify this for me. Is it not their mission to con- to make everybody in the world con- convert to the Islam religion or kill them? Not such thing as I, uh, as you think it is, or as I um, uh, can explain it. Well, when the end of um, there is a prophecy, and uh, I'm sure that you have heard of um, um, Imam Mahdi, the the twelve or the last twelve uh, Imams of Shia. Um, when Imam Mahdi comes in, it's not that everybody converts to Islam by force. Jesus would come back, and they will ask, God will um, bring many of the prophets, many of the people that who have gone. Uh, this is this would be more like a prophecy to us today, but someday when maybe it will become true and we would understand it. We would think that, oh, this is impossible now, but we will see if it would be impossible or not. Then people will convert themselves or would accept the word of Jesus himself. Um, nobody going to force anybody to um, become actually Muslim. And in fact, we do have prophecies in Quran that says when Mahdi will come, those who are Muslim today will rise against him because the kind of Islam they're practicing is against the kind of Islam that Mahdi will bring to, to finish. And those are the ones that are getting the brunt of his um, killings. And um, these are the kind of things that people don't understand. Uh, for instance, one of the other things that Mahdi would do, when Mahdi, Mahdi comes in, as we have in our uh, prophecies from different Imam of Shia, he will ruin a lot of mosques, that there are 100 million or 200 million or 1 million mosques. And people say, why do you ruin it? He says, because God doesn't need lavish uh, mosques to be worshipped. God needs simple places and those are the kind of things that we have been told. Um, and no, nobody would be converted under any uh, religious government or anything like that. Nobody has such authority in Islam except Mahdi, and Mahdi is yet to come to humanity. And as I say, when Mahdi comes, Jesus will come with him, and everybody who is believing Jesus will be next sitting or standing next uh, to two of them. They are the kind of savior of humanity from um, um from destruction against So are Satan. Mazi and Jesus on the same side? They are, yes. Okay. All right. That's that that's makes, what I was really getting at. Okay. Yeah, that makes that makes um that makes all those people who believe uh in one God and the one side and those who believe in radicalism on the other side of with Satanism. And that's where we have the Armageddon that they're talking about and these things that they write about, those are the kind of things that happen. And we don't know when that will be, but Quran obviously talks about it. Holy Books of Shia talks about it. And we we absolutely have to wait for that day, we'll wait for the day that Mahdi comes in. Every Shia has to wait for him as if he arrives tomorrow. To download this interview in its entirety, please visit communicationcreations.com.